Hey everybody, welcome back to Regrowth. Um, it's actually been quite a while. I've been staggering episodes between Pokemon and Regrowth. And in order to get uh, to the next step in... Um, where did I put my Thumbonomicon? Um, in order to get to the next step in Thumbcraft, I had to do a ton of research. And I decided to start changing biomes and working on Batania. Now... Uh, working on Batania, I also worked on some mechanism. Um, uh, because I got tired of supplying coal to some of my generators. So, I set up, I made two of these here um, solar panels. Uh, which, they ain't hard to make. Um, I could go through the recipe if you like, but I'm not. I want to try to get some stuff done. And I made one down here for this, and another battery. So that I don't need to use that anymore. So... Um, this will stay powered, even if I let my steam boiler run out then. Theoretically, of course. Um, back here I set up a mostly automated... Um, a mostly automated uh, mana thing. And it's pretty good. The only thing that I, can fig I cannot figure out is a way to get... Um, saplings to drop on these guys in the right amount. Like, I know there's, like, open crates and stuff, and, like, some way to do, like, a timer is, like, kind of my, kind of my big idea, but I don't really, I can't really think of anything, and by the time I did all this, I got bored with it, so, <laughs> I kind of, uh, I kind of quit. So I made a bunch of sparks. Um, I have all these are normal sparks on the three here. I'm letting these two kind of fill up, and then I think I have a spark up there, and a dominant spark down here, so then if the mana drains from here too much, it can hopefully cycle back around. I'm not sure of the range, but I filled up most of these poles pretty full, so it should be alright for a really long time. <laughs> so all of these um, hourglasses are set to 30 minutes. And it's a lens of boring, so it will, so, our 30 seconds. So every 30 seconds it shoots a beam across, collects the beam into this mana pole, this thing uses that mana to shoot a beam back, and then so on and so forth every 30 seconds. And then that clears out the trees for me, this hopper hawk picks up the wood, and I have it set the void, so I, I don't have it set the void. I thought I set that up to void. Oh, I'll, I could do that later. It's not that big of a deal. I just have to remember to do it later. And I've been messing with this to see if there's a way to automate it. Um, I had to switch to row-in samplings because uh, these things won't recognize the forestry samplings. So, that's kind of a pain. So I had to switch that to row-in samplings. I have the wood being piped to the base and the saplings being piped over to here. And then this is just a little test thing to see if I can figure out a way to drop stuff on there. And uh, th this isn't working either. I, I don't know. I think I can. I think I can make this work, but I'm going to give it, you know, a little more. I just need a break from this. So we're doing Thumbcraft. Um, I made this here um, uh, toolbox for mechanism. No, it's a personal chest, but I call it a toolbox because it holds 54 items instead of the backpack that holds the standard 27. So I put all my tools in here now, and I'm using the gold one for, like, um, the quests I plan to do. So I put, like, items in there that I'm going to need for, you know, crafting. Um, I have to clean all this up, but I'm changing the biome over here. Um, I still have a little piece to do there. Um, I don't want to change the whole bee area, but I did change some of it. Uh, I want to try to keep it, like, half and half, so I could do, like, desert bees and forest bees. And then this will allow me to do all the different fish, hopefully. Because I can do, I think right in the center right here is still desert biome. So I could do the other fish here and then other fish there instead of doing them all the way over there. So I can fix that later. But like I said, we're off to Thumbcraft because I need a break. I just can't, can't do it no more. Can't do it. Um, so let's, uh, we can start by getting... I forgot about that being under there. Now, it used to be a tree, and then when I 
built this all up. Um, it, it, uh, yeah. Uh, no, that's not a big deal. It'll just, it'll just burn. It's not a big deal. So we can just set this guy here. And in our toolbox, we should... <laughs> Bad toolbox. In our toolbox, we can get our flint and steel. And we can light up our cauldron. And we can change that for night or later. I might, I might not. It's not that big of a deal. Like, everyone changes it to nighter, and it's cool, but it's not that cool. <laughs> you know, so... I mean, I might change it to Niter, I might not. I don't think Niter can light other blocks on fire, so that's probably probably the only reason I'd actually change it. But, well, we'll see. So then this should... Okay. That'll fill that up and mostly keep it full. So now we got that all taken care of. Um, I did make the... Uh, goggles are revealing, and I already put them in my helmet, because I thought it'd be easier to get all the aspects. Which I thought I got them all, but I'm still missing a couple. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. Because uh, when I was doing research, uh, there were some that didn't show up. Um, I can show you guys the research. We'll find the easiest one. Um, because I don't want to... I don't want to be doing this. This is... Kind of annoying, in a way. Like, I like it. But at the same time, it's a little too much. Like, I guess we'll do... Let's we'll do this one. Alright. <laughs> so, you take the aspects and you gotta connect these together. Um, I never did this one, and I don't have a lot of experience with this one, but I know this one is Vacuous and uh, Potentia, so that's kinda nice. But it gives a little cheat sheet now that I got one of the things done, so that's kinda nice too. So this is Modus and Instrumentum. And I'm pretty sure this one is also Instrumentum. So if we take two Instrumentums, and we do that, you see how they're connected now? Uh, we can get... Uh, instrumentum is Ordo. And... See, I don't have a lot of Ordo. That's, that's one of the problems. I actually have four left. But it looks like we don't have much of a choice. Um, what's Vacuous? Vacuous is Perdicio and air. Yeah, lack of air. That that makes sense. So if we do this here, and then a Perdicio, and then this guy, and then another. Let's let's pause it there before I mess up. We got this, this, another of these and a Perdicio here. And then see how it connects it all together? And it gives us this little scroll. We can take the scroll, and we pop it, and it gives us, you know, our next our next research thing, which we're not going to concern ourselves with that too much, because, well, I did a ton of research. Is my Thumbanomicon in here? It is. And so is the thingy. These things have arm on it. That's really cool. Uh, because arm's relatively difficult to find, I think. I think it's one of those things that you can only find on, like, potions and enchanted books. Uh, so that's, that's really kind of cool. I got a couple of these from breaking the nodes in the Silverwood Trees. I did use some of them to get my wand up high enough to do the goggles of revealing, but that's, that's besides the point. Let's uh, hop into here. No, not here. Uh, let's hop into the quest book. And I kind of have a plan to do these three, and this one, at least. And then anything else is gravy after that. So, um, we've got the goggles of revealing. We can go ahead and claim that up. And just for fun, let's open all those bags. Let's see what we get. I think it's all Thomcraft related stuff. But, it'll be exciting all the, nonetheless. So, a bunch of gold coins, which are basically gold nuggets. Some belts and rings, which I have a couple of already. Splash potion and amulet. Alright, so 
mostly a bunch of junk in my opinion. I will put the gold coins in here. Um, this will give us greed. Yeah. What is it called? Walkroom or something? Alienus. See, there's some things I missed because I can't scan the stuff in the drawers and I didn't take every single thing out. Oh, I got some mechanic stuff on that one. Um, it does a lot of... It, it only does like... Okay, it does some weird stuff. Let's put it that way. But, okay, let, let's get into this. Let's make our wand with the gold caps first. I, do, I just want to do that first. I think that's going to be... Um, our best bet. So let's uh, do that. We'll pop our wand in here. Which I'm not sure if that's completely necessary or not, but hey. Doesn't really matter. And we need two caps. One. Now I could use the um, <laughs> I can use the gold coins as gold nuggets, but I get gold nuggets for free. Gold coins, not so much. So, yeah. Uh, let's do, uh, great wood. I think I need, yeah, I need. Oh, you really want to die, don't you, buddy? I definitely got to get some more light over here. So, great wood, as I was saying. One, two. Now, hopefully I got enough stuff in here, because that's like the biggest thing. Like, it takes 3.3 per decio. And then, to put this together, I need Ignis. That's all I need. That's not a big deal. We should probably be able, we could probably be able to find that. Um, let's check our tree over here. It doesn't look like that has Ignis in it, but we're gonna we're gonna check anyway because if it's here, then it's gonna be a lot easier than going to find an, a, a node that has it. Oh, it does have it. Does it have enough? I don't think so. I don't think two's enough. Um, we can run over and check, but I think I needed, like, what, nine? And there was only two in that one. Yeah, I still need more. Um, about eight more. Uh, so let's run over. There's a couple of nodes, but I don't think any of them have... I don't think any of them have Ignis. Let's go check. There was a node back here. Uh, the goggles are revealing make it really easy to find them. But if I can't find them in a couple of minutes, we'll just move on to the other stuff. Because I kind of want to, like I said, I kind of want to get a little bit done. Uh, but this is mostly just a stall from from working on Batania anymore before I start ramming my head off a wall. i trying to figure out what's the best course of action for for like item droppers and stuff when the pack doesn't have that many options and you're not you're not familiar with one seven mechanics it's uh it's a challenge it, it's a challenge gonna get that while I'm here um, okay, so I don't see that. I thought I was pretty sure there's a node back here. I don't see it, so so we're gonna circle back to the ones I know there's two in the water, but I'm almost positive there's no Ignis in them. We got these guys. They're gonna be a pain. I think I scanned all the mobs too. At least most of them. I may not have got the spider.
I didn't know. Uh, okay, he's from a different mod, so I didn't, I didn't really think he'd work. I was so sure there was a node back here. Like, you don't even know. Like, I was super sure there was a node. I know the thing, this thing doesn't pick up the berries, so that's kind of... That's kind of sad. Yeah, that doesn't have... That's a bummer. So I can wait for that tree to keep recharging and get like... Two, two at a time, or keep looking. I think we're gonna try the tree method. Can I get you without you? Yay! I'm going to get him without him trying to kill me. Now this thing must be out. I already got all the animals. So we gotta get two at a time until we get them all. That's the plan. We should probably eliminate that guy too, but eh, it'll be fine. If he comes after me, I'll take care of him. So, let's uh... Now that's gonna be a little while till we actually get that, I, I think. So let's go ahead and get Niter. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit. So, Niter is... Glowstone... Coal... Torches... And I think that's it. So, to get Niter, we'll just look it up in here instead of using the Thaumonomicon, because sometimes that can be a little more difficult to navigate for a specific thing. Um, so, you need Potentia, Ignis, and Lux to be able to get... Um, whatchamacallit. And this has one Lux, he's up two Potentia, and two um, Ignis. So we can throw in two torches, one coal. Okay, so we're gonna get three coal and six torches is what we need to throw in there. So let's do. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Why did that? Why did that do that? Oh, that's one too many. Oh well. Well, that's that's a mis that that's that's fine. It'll break that down and it'll go into the atmosphere and be, it'll turn into uh. Well, that. Uh, bad flux. But, it, it's cool. That's just, a, that's just a little bit. It's not too bad of a mistake. So, that'll give us the Niter quest. Which gives us ten more Niter, which... It'll have its purpose eventually, but right now, not so much. Um, between every quest, we're gonna go refill our... We're gonna go fill up on Ignis. <clears throat> I think I'm going to get into uh, node trapping real quick. Now, do you know what? If I keep draining it, it might stop having it in there, and that could be a problem. But that just means we won't do it this time. I, see, I gotta drain it two more times. It's only two per thing, which is the sad part. But let's, go, let's make some thomium. Thom... Eum... Um. 
So to make Thaumium, we need Procantio. And I think this is something else that's easily found on potions and um, enchanted books. So you're going to tell me where I get it from? No? Well, that's useful. Um, what about... No, I need the Thaumonomicon. Actually, let's... Let's put these away. Don't need that. I guess we could throw these in here, too. I was going to put them in the other chest where I was keeping those things, but it's fine. Um, I want the cauldron. And where would it tell me about crystals? Yeah, here it is. Balance shard. How do I make balanced shards? Balanced shards are... Um... That doesn't... Oh, okay, so I put them in there with... That's really kind of long-winded, isn't it? Okay, well, we're not going to do that. I thought there was another way, like quartz, quartz slivers or something. Or is that not what I needed in the first place? Um, balance V shards. These are normally V shards that are alchemically confused with five primal elements that do not already possess. Uh, this results in a shard of crystal as perfectly resonating in primal energy. Smelting a balanced V shard in a furnace creates Salus Mundus. Well, that's familiar, but I'm not looking for Salus Mundus. I'm looking for the quartz slivers. How do I get... Okay. Um, it's got to be in this section, right? Let's just see if I look it up. Um, quartz. I can make a quartz staff. That's kind of cool. Is that a quartz wand, too? No. Quartz. I don't see quartz slivers. Uh, sliver, sliver of air, sliver of order. Those are all particular slivers. I don't know. Okay, well we're just gonna. Ow! Hot! Don't jump on top of the. Don't jump on top of something that's on fire. Anyways, let's uh, let's go and get um something with Percantio. Would be a good idea. And we'll just suffer the consequences of having the, uh, the flux. There's actually a flower that eats flux for Batania, so we'll set one of those up to, to nullify it. Turns bad flux into mana. That's kind of nice. Right. Right. So, yeah, see, that's going to give us a lot of extra stuff. This looks pretty good. I only have one of them. Uh, we're gonna... Wait, so glass... Does glass have... Glass is jello. Very nice. Um, so we're just gonna grab two potions that I don't want. Splash potion of healing might come in handy. Swiftness, I can care less about. Regeneration might be nice. Decay can go. So let's get rid of these three. What was the potion I got? Didn't I have a potion? What is this? Potion of Nausea. That can definitely go. Alright, so that'll give us what we need to make... Um... The Thaumium stuff. So... Man, I, I feel a little bit more off my game than usual today. Yeah, what do you expect? Can't always be... Can't always be chipper, ready to rock. Nah, I just, I don't know. I took a really long walk yesterday and I was carrying like 40 pounds. So, like, I'm like a little drained today. Almost there. We're almost there. 
and uh, thomium. Now just just do this. Is one iron to every four per cantio. That's kind of that's kind of a lot, man. Okay, are we lagging or are you just being annoying? There we go. Okay, so one iron to every four per cantio. That's oh boy, I need five total. This has two. This has two. This has four and four. That's only three. Is there anything else that has Percantio? Oh, Golden Apples have Percantio. Very nice. Thumb and Umbricons have Percantio. Ooh, that might be better. And it looks like it'd be a little less, uh, little less to be thrown in the atmosphere, too. So, let's just skip the potions. Just pretend like... Pretend like that was a... That was not my idea. You guys can stop giving me bad ideas. And let's grab 20... 20 of these. And 5 of those. So now if I do this... No, all of them, please. And then all of those. And give us 5 Thaumium. Which then will give me... The Thaumium Quest, which gives me a Thaumium Tool Rod, which has questionable applications. And we're still trying to get that Great Wand, ain't we? Let's, uh... What is... Can I make a, a wand out of this? No, it's it's for Tinkers. It's, like, it's kind of what I thought, but... I wanted to be certain. Where are we at? 7.9. If this has 2 in it, we're good to go. Hurry, 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 hurry. And like a watch a flowing time or or time in a bottle or acceleration wand. Come on. Come on. Alright. We'll come back. Let's see if we can do the red crystal and the hourglass. Would be kinda nice. Uh let's see. That's this one here. Um, I want to get into this. I'll probably do some of this off camera because it's gonna be a little monotonous. Uh, long-winded. I don't know what the real, I don't know what the right, um, right way of putting it is, but a red, crystal, all one word, is redstone and jellum. So that's why I was, I knew I needed it for something, I just couldn't know, I didn't know what. So, this, oh well, let's just do, uh, I bet it didn't have, like, one piece of jello in there, because then it'd be, like, a way easier. So then we have our red crystal. I need four red crystals. And now I need an hourglass. And I'm guessing it's the cheapo one. Which is glass, sand... Did I, did I bring sand? That's probably the one thing I forgot. I don't think I brought sand. Um, I brought everything else. There's a... A pod of creepers. A clutch of creepers. A... A gaggle of creepers. Flux. Anyways, let's uh, let's uh, we need slabs and panes. So that's pretty simple. Oh, I've got stuff in here. Uh, so slabs and uh, panes.
Uh, you are dead. Uh, slabs. Pains. Um. What else do we need? A redstone repeater, which I should have. Um. Game crash. All right.